Hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. I tried to go on my update 5 world to finish off that series, but when I did the experimental version, it corrupted it. So I can't do the update 5 anymore, but we can go ahead and finish update 6. So, as you guys saw the live stream, what happened? Oh, these are out. I don't have any more biofuel, or solid biofuel, so we'll have to use biomax, that's fine. But on the live stream, we got a lot done. If you guys watched that, we ended up making almost automating everything in the beginning. The only thing we haven't done yet is rotors and smart plates and frames. But if we go over here to the research tab, I did research a couple things. I researched the these two, the stinger and the spitter, as well as the let's go the first caterium. And uh, there was one more, yeah, the quartz. No, that was on stream, the sulfur, I'm sorry. I did research experimental power and we got down to here. So if we go over here, uh, over here, I'm sorry. We did start Caterium going and we've made a lot. I let, I let a lot of this stuff run by itself. So we're gonna go over here. We're going to research Caterium, and we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy. So we can start getting into here. Alright. So we need 100 quick wire. Let's see, what does it take to make quick wire? It is 1 for 5. That's not too bad. So we'll go ahead and start the Caterium research. We'll grab a stack. And then after this, we're going to start making our rotors. And then our smart plates. Oh, we need to make a hundred of this. I've never dived into Caterium, but I do know there is a ge geothermal generator, which I do want. I want the geothermal generator because it does generate more power than a biomass generator, as well as it generates it generates it without having to put anything in it, which would be nice. The only issue is is we need some we need some batteries, which we do get later on in the in the phases, so we will have to do that. Let's go ahead, grab this. Awesome. So we have power poles mark two. We have a bullet guidance system. We have a smart splitter. We also have AI limiters. And we also have the zip line. And we're gonna get the zip line because it'll be better for our movement. We'll be able to run around a little bit more. And I already have the Caterium, I need to make it. So, if I can, I'm not used to having the Blade Runners yet. So I'm gonna keep over jumping by accident. We'll go ahead and make some more quick wire. Probably use the rest of this if I'm being honest. Just because I want to be able to just go and research off the bat we also need to get we need to work towards the geothermal but since we have the power poles mark two we can start replacing some of our power poles with a power pole mark two and have less power poles everywhere so that'll be something we can do whenever we start building our bigger factory uh today we should be able to launch phase one with the smart plates which should, will be really good and we can start getting into the coal generation and coal generation will be We'll have to find the coal gener uh, the coal veins, and I don't know where those are. But luckily, we did get a whole lot of ore next to us. Caterium wasn't that far. I haven't looked for sulfur. I don't not off the top of my head. I don't believe. All right, zip line. Let's go ahead and get that done. We can make that. That's three hundred. So we're not gonna make that quite yet. What's in here? A hundred more. All right. Let's go ahead and get this AI limiter done. Okey now we have the super computer which we need to make so we need to get into rubber before we can get any further than this this is a power switch smart splitter okay that's all normal let's go in here and see what it takes to make a zip line we need quick wire one xeno zapper which is down here let's go ahead and make that one and we have we just need the quick wire and then we have everything let's see how much was it there we go. So we just need a couple more quick wire. And this will help us with moving and getting around those canyons and such. Let's pop this in here. Okay. 
Okie dokie. So now that we have these, we can stick them there. And this will... I believe it's on a space like... I could be wrong unless we have to make use the quick wire. I don't quite understand. We might have to have quick wire in our inventory. Let's go ahead and try it out. Or I'll go ahead and figure this out and we'll be right back. Alright. So I was wrong. What it actually does is it lets us go on some on the power lines. We can navigate on the power lines. Like this. And then as we run into the to things it'll stop us, but it will help us get across canyons that we wouldn't have been able to get to before and I do believe on long distances like this it might help with movement a little bit I don't know if that's faster or slower or not and you can I, I think it's slower but you can navigate things a lot easier off the ground so we do have a zip line in case of anything which is nice so let's go ahead and start automating our rotors. Pop up here. We did do all of this on stream. And that gave us our, our reinforced iron plates down here. Which you see right here. So we need to go ahead and make an assembler down here. It'll be away from the iron ore there because we do want to use that iron ore at some point. So we will stick it right on the edge here. Awesome. This is going to be rotors. It takes 100 screws and 20 rods per minute, which is not bad at all. So we're going to go ahead, set up a conveyor splitter, and use the Mark IIs so it's faster. And then from here, we're going to have a smelter. We're going to do one here, one here, one here. And OK, I guess I'm going to fall. And then we'll have one just down here to make it easier. Is that a little cave? I have never noticed. No, it's not. It's just it is a little cave. There's a little... I don't like this. There's mycelia here, which is nice. On stream, we went everywhere to find mycelia, and it turns out it's just in a little cave here. There's not much of a point to grabbing the summer sloop until they start implementing it into the game, but we know it's here. Anyways. So let's go ahead and set this up. Three. We're going to go here. Okay. Bring it over here. And it's still an inconvenient shape. Alright, so let's move this slightly over here a little more. Still out the way of that miner. And that's going to go here. And this will fit here. And then we're going to do another conveyor splitter. Where is it? Logistics splitter. Right here. And this should be able to snap over there. Correct. And this one will go into here. And this one will go down there. So all of these will be for iron. Iron, iron, and iron. So before we get all of this set up, I want to see what it's going to take to make a smart plate. Because every two minutes in reality is what it takes to make. Um, you only make two per minute for a smart plate. So let's go ahead and make four more rotors because I need those to make the assembler. Okie dokie. And we're going to pop this assembler. Production assembler. This is going to be down here. 
and if we're gonna make a smart play it takes two rotors per minute and one reinforced so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a whole lot of cubes and I see a power slug up there I don't think I can make that jump but I can off of one of these and I can't make that jump I just saw it and we're gonna need them anyways so I figured I might as well go ahead and make them I'll grab them while we're here I need one more ramp I believe Which means we'll be able to double it to four per minute now. Wow. Take this out. And now we have that going. So let's go ahead. This is going to be put into here. Since those are splitting, this will give it five per minute. Since this is making ten. And then I believe a rotor will make four per minute. But if we can get double the amount in here and we don't need very many rotors in general for crafting so what I'll do is I'll split off of in here I'll have a logistics conveyor splitter I'll have one right here and a storage unit here and what this will do is it'll give me rotors that will and then I will have this one coming over to here for the smart plating and that'll be perfect because I will increase exactly what it needs to make it all right so we have the this is gonna be well for rods I need two let's go ahead and start down here actually so for this let's get rid of this tree Awesome. I need two constructors. One and two. And then I need a conveyor splitter for here. Pop this in there. Pop this in here. And pop this one here. Okay, or not. Will this go? Oh uh, no. That's still an invalid shape. And then, god damn it. And those two shut off, didn't they? But that should give us enough uh, solid biofuel to get it started. Yep. Solid. Here we go. And here we go. Turn that on. And now it's going along. We will need to start getting other kinds of power. Once we get the coal going then we will need less biomass generators and it'll, it'll, it'll be a lot easier for us. So, down here, sorry, I needed three, God. Those two ran out. I was talking for 10 seconds. This is the problem with biomass generators, and I don't quite like them for this reason. Turn on the fuse again. There we go. I'm sure it'll shut off here in a little bit, but oh well. There's only so much I can do. Also, I do want that making quick wire at some point, because we will need that. Alright. So we have the two constructors here coming down from here. So I want to flip this around and put three constructors going this way. That's why'd you place over there? Constructor. Floor is too steep. Okie doke. So if I put it here, will that work? It will. Nice. So we want a conveyor merger coming out of here. And the output's going to be there. And then a conveyor splitter coming through here and that should go through here and then we want this one to connect up to mm, apparently those are all facing the wrong way 
lovely jubbly constructor flip this around and flip this one and then put this one um, put this one right next to it that'll be fine and they are facing the right way this time so we're gonna chuck this one right there and this is going to connect to this one cool awesome all right so these are gonna be rods rods and this is going to be screws screws and screws and then we're going to get a conveyor merger logistics conveyor merger pop that into here and all of these are going to feed into here and from this we're going to press E and bring that up to here to get this going so that's all of our screws now we need we have over the amount so if we stick one constructor here in front run out of space a little bit and that's okay that happens we're gonna stick a constructor here I'm not actually gonna have this because I just realized with as many smelters as I have I shouldn't have to have a uh, a what you called a um I don't need rotors very much for anything but if I do I, I can either A, handcraft them, or B, make another system for this, and that'll make it a lot easier, so I'll be able to have more constructors going on over here. So, we're going to want constructors here and here, I believe. And for the rods, we have 15, and 15 makes 30, which will give us an extra amount. So then we want this coming down here into a conveyor splitter. Logistics conveyor splitter. Lovely. Now, okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. And split her there. Split her there. So this is going to be perfecto. Logistics conveyor merger right over here. Pop that in there. Pop this in there. And then these are going to go up here to there, making rotors, which is perfect. So now to fuel these. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go and I'm going to fill up all of my biomass generators. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to connect what we have there. Because as of right now, I don't have enough. And I'm sure one of these is shut off right now. And I don't have any biomass in there. So this could go very bad very soon. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fix that up. And I'll see you guys in a second. Alright. So we got the 50 smart plates. We're going to go ahead and lock those in there. And send it. And it's going to do this really cool animation. So we'll go ahead and watch it. Epic music yet again. exhilarating gameplay all right but that's gonna finish it off for today i do hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so that way you don't miss an upload but i will see you guys in the next video bye bye